So Dominic, we know that LinkedIn is the professional networking place, but also a lot of recruiters are going there and job seekers should start from there to have a great LinkedIn profile, banners, pictures, about section experience. So in, in your experience, what tips you can have to maximize the LinkedIn profile these days? Yeah, I think there's a lot of, right, you can read five to 10 posts telling you to do 20 different things with your LinkedIn profile that day, right? You can just log on there and see all these things that you should be doing. I think as long as you hit the basics, right? You hit what LinkedIn considers an all-star profile. You get the picture, the bank, like an about section. You make it about me, right? Those those key basics. Yeah. And then one of like a different way that I, you know, recommend people use LinkedIn is it's a really powerful, like investigating resource. Like I put my, so when, when I'm working with clients, we're focusing on conversations. Who can I talk to? That's going to put me in the right role or mm -hmm. open the right door or give me information about the role that makes me able to make a better decision about where I want to go with my career. Yeah. And so there, that's when you start looking at first connections, second connections, third connections, mm -hmm. you start filtering by role, by people, by group. And I think that's, the really powerful part about LinkedIn. So I think you really just go to that search bar, go to that search bar and start using those filters that, you know, may apply to you. Say you're looking at your alumni organization or you're looking at, Hey, I need to talk to product managers in this state and I need to find out what they're doing there. Mm -hmm. That's one way you can do it. And I always, on that point, I always recommend people starting with like a common ground. So if it is that alumni organization or just any other group you've been a part of, I think that's when you're going to make, um, the LinkedIn, the most useful when you're searching for a job. And then as a caveat and just something I'd always add, just, just find creators that you like on there. It's, it's not going to hurt you. And, and especially the hiring managers, I've heard some wonderful stories about people just reaching out when I, when I was looking for the job, it was, okay, I'm, I'm trying every single different way I can, I can get in there. I'm, I'm tactful. I'm, I'm going to their about me page. I'm going to the, oh, that hiring manager knows that person. Oh, they report to them. Mm -hmm. Do all that research, write it down, yeah. plot it out. Yeah. And you mentioned about the about section and the banner. Do you yeah. think that in the banner, I always tell people, you go to Canva, customize it, make it your own, maybe put a quotation or maybe put your value so that it's not blank. Do you agree on that comment? Yeah, definitely. I was just working with a client on mine and he ended up putting a really cool equation that, right? Mm -hmm. It just, my point with the banner is like, make me stop and be like, dang, I need to talk to Dominic. I need yeah. to talk to him. I need to talk to, right? Like mine's conversations over applications. And immediately you're kind of like, what does that mean? Like, where's yeah. he going? And then you kind of start to scroll. Yeah. And what about the about section? I know that we, it should be telling your story and making personal and your passion. What, the, what do you think about that section? I think it's a great place to just be human. I I, mm -hmm. I hate going to these ones that are done in maybe third person. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I don't like, that's just not right. I want to know who you are, maybe what you do. Right. So I think it's a great place to include a little bit about, Hey, where I've been professionally starting that off. Like, Hey, I've been here X, Y, Z professionally, and then highlight some significant accomplishments. Like it yeah. doesn't be a list of five to 10, but three to five. And then, Hey, a personal note about you. Are you a super big sports fan? Do you like to go hiking on the weekends or a quote that means a lot to you? And I think it's best to keep it short, right? I mean, you come to mind and it's, it's long because I'm running a business here and, and I want a longer note about me. But I think when you show me that personal side, I'm always like, dang, here's a place I can connect with this person or I really like what they achieved in that role. And, yeah. and you give yourself a quick highlight. Yeah, those are great tips. I mean, thank you very much. So again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips in terms of LinkedIn, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Dominic.